Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is Laplace transform. This topic is from second unit. What is Laplace transform? The definition: Laplace transform of function f of t when t greater than zero is defined as the uh, that L operator is used to denote Laplace transform. L of f of t is equal to. You write f of t in curly brackets. L of f of t means Laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration of zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt is equal to f of s. Means if we solve this integration term, the uh, differential coefficient is dt. This t is variable. This is parameter. If we solve this integration. It will be in terms of s, so you will get a function of s. So Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the integration from zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt, which is equal to f of s. This is the definition of Laplace transform. Okay. Laplace transform of some standard functions. Now, Laplace transform of some standard functions. Laplace of e raised to at exponential function and the coefficient is here a constant coefficient is a. Laplace transform of e raised to at is equal to one upon s minus a. Now, like the formula of integration and derivative, these are the formula of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of some standard functions. Laplace of e raised to at is Equal to one upon s minus. A. You can prove it by using the definition of Laplace transform. You put you know, f of t is equal to e raised to at in this integration. You solve this integration, and you will get e, e to be equal to one upon s minus a. So you just remember the results formally, and we are going to solve the examples based on the uh, results. So Laplace transform of e raised to at is equal to one upon s minus a. So Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t is equal to one upon s plus a. When the coefficient is minus a, then in denominator the term is s plus a. When the coefficient is plus a, then in denominator the term is s minus a. Then next Laplace transform of one is equal to one upon s. Laplace transform of hyperbolic sine function is a upon s square minus a square. Laplace transform of hyperbolic cos function cos a t is equal to s upon x square minus a square. Laplace transform of sine a t, trigonometric sine function a t is equal to a upon s square plus a square. Then Laplace transform of trigonometric cos function cos a t is equal to s upon s square plus a square. Laplace transform of t raised to n is equal to gamma n plus one upon s plus n plus one. Or it is also equal to n factorial upon s raised to n plus one if n is positive integer. Then in that case, it is n factorial upon s raised to n plus one. Otherwise, it is gamma n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. Next is Laplace transform of error function of root three. Error function is a special function. It's a Laplace transform of error function of root three is equal to one upon s into under root s plus one. Now next properties of Laplace transform. The first property, first shifting theorem, Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t into f of t is equal to f of s plus a. Okay. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, and then Laplace transform of this product, one of them is exponential, and second one is f of t. It is equal to f of s plus a. You see, first find f of s. What is f of s? It is Laplace transform of f of t, and then you find the Laplace transform of this product e raised to minus a t into f of t, which is equal to f of s plus a. Then next is second shifting theorem. If g of t, g of t is a function defined in two intervals, it is equal to f of t minus a when t is greater than a, and it is zero when t is less than a. Then Laplace of g of t is equal to e raised to minus a s into f of s. This is second shifting theorem. The change of scale property. Laplace of f of a t is equal to one upon a into f of s upon a. Now, what is f of s? 
f of x is laplace transpose of f of t and after finding laplace transpose of f of t you find laplace transpose of f of at by using change of scale property is 1 upon a into f of x by a means in f of x you just replace x by x upon a and multiply that f of x by a term by 1 by a that will be the laplace transpose of f of at then the next property is laplace transpose of derivative laplace transpose of f dash of t is equal to s into f of x minus f of 0 laplace transpose of f double dash of t is equal to s square into f of x minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 laplace transpose of f triple dash of t is equal to s cube f of x minus s square f of 0 minus s f of dash of 0 minus f double dash of 0 so This is Laplace transform that is that is equal. So you can uh, generalize it. You can write for the fourth derivative term also, fifth derivative, and tenth derivative term. You can generalize this property. Laplace transform of integrals. Laplace transform of integration over zero to t, f of t dt is equal to one upon s into f of t. Means if uh, Uh, find out the Laplace transform of integral. Then you first find Laplace transform of function f of t. That will be f of s, and you just divide it by s to find the Laplace transform of integral. Limit zero to t. Then Laplace transform if of double integration zero to t f of t dt is equal to one upon s square into f of s. Means you divide the term by s square. So triple integration you divide it by s cube, and so on. You can generalize it. Multiplication by t property. Multiplication by t raised to n. Laplace transform of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus one raised to n into n the derivative of f of s with respect to n. Then division by t property. Laplace transform of f of t upon t division by t is equal to integration or s to infinity f of s dx. This is Laplace division by t property. Convolution theorem. Laplace transform of f of t into g of t. There are two functions f of t and g of t. Then the convolution of f of t and g of t is given uh, by f of t star g of t. And Laplace transform of this convolution of these two functions is equal to Laplace of integration of zero to t f of u g of t minus u d. So if you solve this integration, if you solve this term, you will get the Laplace transform. It is equal to f of s into g of s. f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t. g of s is the Laplace transform of g of t. This is the notation here. The initial value here. Limit of f of t as t tends to zero is equal to limit of s into f of s as s tends to infinity. This is initial value here. Then final value here. Limit of f of t as t tends to infinity is equal to limit of s into f of s as s tends to zero. This final value here. So these are the properties of Laplace transform. Now the example. So the first example: find Laplace transform of e raised to two t into cos t into cos two t. So find the Laplace transform of this function. Now we know that two cos a cos b is equal to cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. See in the given example, inside the bracket, there are three functions. Product of three functions. We can find the Laplace transform of product of two functions when one of them is exponential and second one is any function of t. Using shifting property, we can find its Laplace transform. But here there are three functions. Product of three functions. So uh, you convert these three functions in terms of two. How to convert? e raised to two t as it is cos t into cos two t. Here you multiply and divide this term by two. Two cos t into cos two t upon t. So here you can use the formula two cos a cos b, which is cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So right, Laplace of cos t into cos two t is equal to one by two into Laplace of multiply and divide it by two. So one by two as it is Laplace of cos of a minus b. A minus b, two t minus t is t plus cos of a plus b, two t plus t dt. So it is cos dt. Okay. So Laplace transform of cos t into cos two t is equal to one by two. 
Now, what is Laplace transform of cos t? It is s upon s square plus one. Because, see, what is the formula to find the Laplace transform of cos a t? It is s upon s square plus a square. A is the coefficient of angle of cos function. So it is s upon s square plus a square. So we are using the same formula here. The coefficient of uh, cos function is one. So it is s upon s square plus one square. One square means one plus cos three t. Now plus transform of cos three t coefficient is three. So it is s upon s square plus This square, this square is nine. So this is the Laplace transform of cos t into cos two t. Now Laplace transform of e raised to two t into cos t into cos two t. It is equal to. Now use their shifting property to find the Laplace transform of e raised to two t into cos t into cos two t. It is equal to this one by two as it is. Now replace s. See what is shifting property. Laplace transform of e raised to minus 18 to the power three raised to s plus a. When the coefficient of exponential function is minus a, then we write here s plus a. That is product of two functions. One of them is the power three, second one is exponential, and the power of exponential function is negative. Coefficient is minus a, then we replace that s by s plus a. So here the Power of exponential function is uh, coefficient is two plus two. If it is minus minus a, then we replace s by s plus a. But here it is plus, so we are going to replace s by s minus two in every term. Replace s by s minus two. S minus two upon s minus two whole square plus one plus s minus two upon s minus two whole square plus nine. Okay. So on. Okay, so we are using a shifting property, first shifting property to find the Laplace transform of e raised to two t cos t to cos t. Okay, now the second example. Find the Laplace transform of e raised to two t into sine cube t. Now there is product of two functions. One of them is trigonometric function sine cube t, and second one is exponential. So again, using shifting property for shifting, we can find the Laplace transform. But here, the sine function is not linear; means uh, it is not only sine function; it is sine cube t. To make it linear, how to make it linear? Using the equal angle formula, sine three t. So three sine t minus four sine cube t. So using that formula, we can write sine cube t is equal to three by four into sine t minus one by four into sine three t using the equal angle formula. So one by four is common, so take it common. Sorry, separate these two terms. T by four into Laplace of sine t minus one by four into Laplace of sine t. T by four as it is Laplace of sine t. Laplace of sine a t is a upon s square plus a square using the formula. Now we can do. What is Laplace of sine a t? It is a upon s square plus a square. A is Coefficient or constant coefficient of sine function. So we are using the same formula here. The coefficient, constant coefficient, is t is one. So it is one upon s square plus one minus one by four. Laplace of sine three t. The value of a is three, so it is three upon s square plus nine. So this is the Laplace transform of sine two t. Now what is Laplace transform of e raised to two t into sine two t? Again, we use the shifting property. First shifting property. Here, the coefficient of exponential function is two, so plus two. So replace s by s minus two. So replace. So this is where f of s. Here, in f of s, you replace every term of s by s minus two. So this is the this is your answer. The plus function of a is to two to the sine two. Now, third example: If Laplace transform of sine t upon t is equal to tan inverse one by s, find Laplace transform of sine a t upon t. Laplace transform of sine t upon t is tan inverse one by s. It is given. Assume it is equal to f of s. Then, what is Laplace transform of sine a t upon t? Then use here change of scale property. Then it is equal to one by a into tan inverse. 
वन अपॉन एस वाई ए चेंज ऑफ स्केल प्रॉपर्टी वॉट इज चेंज ऑफ स्केल प्रॉपर्टी सी है Laplace of f of at is equal to one upon a into f of s by a. In f of s, you replace s by s upon a. If the coefficient of c is a, so we are doing the same thing here. In place of c, there is at. Means this function is f of at. Then you replace every term of s by s upon a. So um, this is your f of s. So replace the term of s by s upon a here. And multiply the complete term by one by a using change of scale property. So we are using the change sorry change of scale property here. Now fourth example is here. Evaluate Laplace transform of p into sine cube t. Now Laplace transform of sine cube t is equal to sine cube t. There is no formula to find Laplace transform of sine cube t directly. You use triple angle formula and make it simple. How to make it simple? You know, sine three theta is equal to three sine theta minus four sine cube theta. From this formula, you will get the value of sine cube theta, and it is equal to plus of three by four sine theta minus one by four sine cube theta. This bracket term is the value of sine cube theta using triple angle formula. Now separate both the terms. If you separate, it is three by four into Laplace of sine theta minus one by four into Laplace of sine theta. Three by four as it is, Laplace of sine theta is one upon s square plus one minus one by four. Laplace of sine theta is three upon s square plus nine. So, using the formula of Laplace of sine theta, now we can do Laplace transform. So, Laplace of sine theta is equal to three by four into bracket. D by four is common in both the terms, so take it common. And we will have one upon s square plus one minus one upon s square plus one. So this is Laplace transform of sine theta. Now Laplace transform of t into sine theta. We are using multiplication by t property. See what is multiplication by t property here? This is multiplication by t property. Laplace of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus one raised to n into And the derivative of f of s is equal to s. Here, when power of t is n, then we write minus one raised to n, and then uh, and the derivative of f of s. But here, the power of t is one. Power of t is one. So put n is equal to one in the figure. So minus one raised to one into and the derivative of this f of s. This is the Term f of s. You differentiate it with respect to s at one only because n is equal to one. P by four constant right as it is. Derivative of this bracket term with respect to s. I mean, it is equal to derivative of one upon s square plus one is minus one upon s square plus one whole square, and the composite derivative of s square is two s minus sine as it is. What is the derivative of one upon s square plus nine? It is minus 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 it will be now plus upon s square plus nine whole square into composite derivative of s square is two s. So minus three by four in bracket minus two s upon s square plus one whole square plus two s upon s square plus nine whole square. So this is the Laplace transform of p into sine theta. It is three by two. Sorry, three by two s is common. From the bracket, two s two is common, so two to the four. So it is after simplification, it is three s upon two. We have taken minus sign also common, so this is your answer after taking minus two s common. This is Laplace transform of three into sine theta. Okay. Next example, you evaluate Laplace of three sine four t. You can easily evaluate it. You first find Laplace transform of sine four t, which will be a sorry four upon s square plus sixteen, and then using la, the property multiplication by t property, you just differentiate that uh, Laplace transform of sine four t with respect to s at once, because the power of t is one means n is one, so you will get the Laplace transform of t sine four t. So these are some.
examples of Laplace transform two examples and Laplace transform properties and Laplace transform of some standard. So this question is over here. Thank you.